What is up everyone? Zuki M1 here and uh, I'm bringing you guys uh, another video on Kingdom Hearts Unchained Union. Um, today we're going to be looking at some um, <clears throat> strategies on how to beat the um, the um, the 600 million download missions. Um, I've recently completed all of them. And I'm and I thought, what a great idea to create a video explaining what are the the medals that you would need to be able to beat this uh, this particular boss battle. So, um, right off the bat, some of these uh, the <laughs> when I said that these missions were hard, they were really really hard. Um, I had to figure out the best strategy on how to defeat these. So the the easiest one for me, uh, starting out the gate, was definitely the very first one, obviously. Um, for this one, I just used a standard, um, my standard Keyblade setup. So I used, um, I used this. So I, I'll give you guys some more in depth. So I used my Beast uh, and, and Bell. This is probably my, probably one of my favorite uh, medals. Uh, what it does is, is it uh, increases your uh, attack power times three, and uh, it removes all the target status effects. So what that means is, is if that target had any buffs or anything that would increase its defense, it's automatically null, uh, nullified in its, their base stats. Um, so whatever their level is, that's their base stats, and then you know you can go nuts from there. Um, from there, I use uh, key art too. It doesn't really matter um, if you have any metal that would lower uh, that would lower the defense even more of a magic key uh, magic metal. I would recommend this. I use this one because it's two it's two gauges. It has. 2.62 uh, two damage, so it, it does pretty decent damage, and it hits in the AOE. Uh, I also gave it my second chance, which is you know very very useful, especially when you're going against like uh, Heartless that can one shot you. So this is really really useful to have. I think it has some traits. Yeah, it also has a trait to lower their defense by 60%. So that's really really nice. Um, then I have my Ursula medal. Um, so my Ursula medal, what it does is, is it increases your magic ability uh, by three. Uh, you can get your magic or power or speed all the way up to seven. So uh, this right here just gets it up to three. Makes me really, really, uh, makes my uh, blue medals hit that much harder. Doesn't really do too much else, unfortunately. But, I mean, I, I think that's pretty reasonable to ask for. And then I put the... Uh, the attack boost four on there, which increases the damage by 1.8, even which is even more damage. And then uh, it has the defense plus 200. So then I have my illustrated terror. Now this one came out really well for me. It, it has the increased strength and increased defense. Um, what he does is, is he, uh, he hits in the AOE he hits 13 times and he increases your uh, your magic power damage by two. So where Ursula increases by three, he increases it by two. But he costs one less gauge as well. So I guess that balances out pretty well. Um, and then my favorite and I think probably my strongest blue metal is uh, SP Roxas. Uh, XP Roxas, what it does is, is um, the more gauge you use that uh, this gauge, I mean that that particular round, it increases the damage all the way up to 4.8. But here's the interesting detail: when that damage is increased to like 4.8, it um, it also uh, increases by the metal slot. So it's in a two point four seven so it increases to seven point eight nine or something like that it's really high it's really really high and it hits very very hard and then i give it an attack boost uh three max so it's gonna hit at uh an attack boost three every single time i use this metal which is 
lovely. It's it's incredible. Um, then I have 800 plus health, so I can take a little bit more of a hit. Um, and that's my blue key blade that I used to defeat that mission. Uh, in terms of shared, it really didn't matter. I just used the um, the illustrated Kyrie. Um, so yeah, illustrated Kyrie. Uh, yeah, Ill illustrated uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie. Make sure you're very specific because there's a lot of Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie, so it's good to you know specify. Um, I beat the second one without too much trouble either. It was this one in particularly that gave me the most difficulty. So what did I do for this one? Um, I used my, um, oh, by the way, if you guys wanted to see the build that I used for the second mission, just let me know in the comments and I'll show you guys what I used. Um, so what I used for this one, it wasn't this, it wasn't this. It was, uh, so I, I made a custom key set where I used some defenses. Um, so let me show you. So I swapped out, I swapped out him. I swapped out the Leon and I swapped out the Axel for a, uh, it didn't really matter to be honest. You just needed a defense three and a second chance. So I gave that to, uh, I put in my illustrated Mickey, which it increases all your attributes by uh, by one for two turns, but it has the extra attack, 40% uh, uh, power. So what this trait does, and I think honestly, it's the most broken trait that you can get in the game. Uh, what it does is, is it allows you to reuse your metal again so after i've used the king mickey it refreshes and then i can use it again so if it has a stacking of uh so if it has an effect to give you like attributes increases and things like that it can recycle its effect twice for you which is insanely useful and it only costs one bar so it would essentially cost you two bars to get your uh attributes increased by two for two turns so um, then it, I gave it the uh, defense boost three. So this is an all around good metal where I have it at. I was really happy with uh, what I did with it. Um, then for the last metal, I used the Daisy and Mini or Mini and Daisy. Uh, it has second chance and it restores four gauges. So it honestly, it really didn't matter after that point. Um, Cause yeah. Um, I had the defense three and I had the second chance. So if the defense didn't proc, then I still had second chance. If the defense did proc, then I just kill it. So, um, so uh, in terms of shared metal, the shared metal that I used to be able to beat that mission, I believe it was, um, I believe it was. I used a shared metal of, geez, uh, yeah, so I used this one. Uh, so, well, it wasn't particularly this one, but I used this one. Now, you may be wondering why would I use the, the King Donald and Goofy. What this does is, is it hits the same amount of damage regardless of the color. So if it's a blue or if it's green or if it's red, it's still going to hit the same regardless of what the attribute is. And um, also, the increased damage that you gave it from me using King Mickey twice will make it hit so hard. It doesn't make any sense. And the particular metal that I was using, uh, it had an extra attack by 40%. So even if I didn't kill it the first time around, I can try it again and try to murder it. So needless to say, it, it was it was doing a lot of damage and it, it pretty much wiped it out. Um, now, these two missions in particular, these were really, really tricky. Like, really, really tricky. Um, what did I do? Uh, so these didn't matter if you killed them in one turn, which was really, really fortunate. All you basically have to do is just make sure you don't use any continues. So 
you got a lot of time to be able to strategize and plan out your plan of attack a lot more effectively than what you would have normally did. So for this one, I pretty much followed the same thing that I did with my red metals. Um, I just um, used the power increaser by three, lowered the defense by two, increased my uh, magic ability by two uh, by three. Then I used the illustrated Kyrie, which also increases their ability power. But the best part is the the Kyrie it heals you and it gives you back 10 um, stocks so that's just great like regardless of how much damage it does it just guarantees you back the 10 stocks and it gives you your red blue green buff and it gives you uh health back so everything you can want in the metal pretty much well from a supported metal it gives you then I used the uh, Marluxia, uh, Maleficent, sorry. <laughs> I used the Maleficent and uh, it didn't have any traits because I got it before the traits was out. Um, and it just, it, it did a lot of damage. Um, I used this one over the um, Roxas because it was a, it was a horde of uh, Heartless in this particular mission. So I couldn't just use the uh, one metal, I mean the single target metal, because even though SP Roxas hits so hard, it only hits one target. So because it only hits one target, it'd be best to look for an AOE type of blue um, reverse metal. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you use as long as it's really strong. Like I, this one has 100% uh, extra damage, plus I lowered it down to one. So it only cost me one bar to reuse this metal. Uh, in terms of what assist metal I use, and I know this one right off the bat, you definitely want to try to find you one that um, lowers their defense. So I use this one, uh, Key Art number seven. It lowered all their defense by two. I mean, no, by one, but he has the 40% increase. So it did max three damage, plus it had refreshed itself twice, and it only cost me two bars to use it. Remember, I had gained back to 10 from the Kyrie, so it was pretty much just open season. I was able to just murder the uh, enemy. Now, oh my goodness, this mission right here. This mission right here took me all day. To be now, I want to say this one is just based off skill, but it's really not. This one is insanely difficult to beat, and it's going to require a lot of luck, unfortunately. Like, as much as I don't like to rely on luck, it's it's really not too much you can do in this situation. So, um, I'm gonna show you. Unfortunately, I got to show you like what costume you have to wear. Yeah, I know costume, but. Um, you have to wear a particular costume, um, one that will give you high, um, skill perks. So my skill perk is plus 15. So it increases the chances of me being able to use a skill, which in that particular situation, you definitely need because you need your skills popping. So if you don't have max, uh, damage, uh, max damage ones, like all the attack fours right now don't have any max versions yet. So so you're basically relying on luck for them to proc. And during my playthrough, it did not want to proc at all. This mission is insanely difficult. The uh, dark side has 164 life stocks. And on top of that, it also can regenerate its health from using a particular move, which nullifies all the buffs that you gave yourself on top of that. It's constantly hitting you over and over and over again, repeatedly at the end of the turn, which can one shot you if you don't prepare correctly. So uh, besides the uh, skill perk that I got from my costume, uh, there is very, very meticulous items that I, I mean, metals that I use. So I use the uh, illustrated answer. This metal right here really really made a huge difference now i didn't have any more defense threes that i can give it but it definitely you definitely want to make sure that you get at least a defense two so get a defense two or a defense three and you'll be good to go um this metal is my baby i love this metal um it lowers their well 
I don't know if you guys got a chance to read it in the shop, but essentially what it does is, is it increases your uh, power attack uh, bonus by three, and it lowers their power defense by three, which is insanely useful. Then it also hits three times. I mean, three times. It hits 11 times. And it uh, also, uh, I gave it the uh, power boost four. Now, I don't have any traits for this, even though I got like almost the entire thing uh, fully finished. I used two um, Mickey and Brooms, so that's why it's almost complete. I didn't really want to go back to the shop and try to pull another one, so I just used my Mickey and Brooms to try to finish this off because this metal is just too good not to finish. Um, this metal right here it was actually surprisingly the strongest metal I had to offer. It was even stronger than my uh, Hercules and uh, Phil. My Hercules and Phil is, it has a guaranteed max bonus of three, and it only used one uh, SP gauge. But here's the thing. It hits at a 3.36, and the, uh, the Kingdom Hearts 2 Black Coat Riku hits at a 3. Point hit, um, it hits at a 380. And then on top of that, um, it ignores all the attributes, but that didn't really matter. Um, I gave it the attack boost plus attack, uh, prize plus, uh, that was insanely useful. I was, I had my fingers crossed every time it didn't proc. Unfortunately, it doesn't proc as much as I needed it to, but I mean, I got, I got the job done. The last time it proc <laughs> which is super funny. The last time I proc, it killed the uh, the uh, dark side. So it proc when it matter, I guess. Uh, the traits is more health. So then my second chance was Minnie and Daisy. So I had a defense, offense, and I had a uh, second chance and the metal that I use. Now this metal literally kept me from dying every single turn. If you don't have this medal, you need to have a friend to share this medal because otherwise you will not beat this mission. And I I, I cannot stress this enough. Like you will not beat this mission at all if you don't have this medal or something of its nature. Um, the uh, SP Cinderella. So what it does is, is it increases your strength of every uh, attribute by one. And it also increases your defense of every attribute by one. Now, this is insanely useful, mainly due to the fact that it lowers the damage that you take every single turn to literally look like it only did a speck of, of damage to you. That, I cannot stress this enough. Like, that is so useful. Also, I'll make a separate video in terms of how to uh, effectively use this metal. Um, you also might... And I hate to say this, like you might need somebody who has it as a uh, extra attack by 40% because that actually really did help me beat that by me procking it twice every single turn, even though it costs three gauge at the end of every single turn, the dark side gives you back SP at the uh, every time you hit it. So even if you had used the metal to take away your gauge, it still gives you back gauge at the end of the turn. So it doesn't really matter. Um... So you would use it, low, uh, increase your defense, and increase your offense, and it stays around for two turns. So if you use it again, it stacks on top of each other, giving you time for a defense, which made the damage non-existent until it started using this little ball that wipes away all your buffs. So uh, this is my guide on how to be able to beat the Super Challenge quest. Uh, I will be making a separate video on how to be able to beat those missions. I mean, a separate video on me uh, re-beating those missions. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, stick around. Uh, hit the thumbs up or comment and things like that. Hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.